their eyes um, drift across a crowd of people and they slowly stop and fix on one person and all of a sudden that person isn't part of the crowd anymore. They become an individual, just like that. It just became irresistible. So you followed women? Yeah, I followed anybody. I just wanted to see where they went, what they did. It was supposed to just be completely random. You would never follow the same person twice. That was the most important rule. That was the one that I broke first. That's when the trouble started. I got burgled yesterday. What's it feel like being uh, broken into? You're developing a taste for it. The violating, the wireism, it's definitely you. If we talk for too long, I'll forget how we started. And next time I see you, I'm not going to remember this conversation. What's the last thing that you do remember? My wife. That's sweet. Dying. Lenny! I guess I've already told you about my condition. Oh, well, only every time I see you. You don't remember where you've been or what you've just done? No, I can't make new memories. It's like waking. It's like you just woke up. Him. Maybe I can help you find him. Are you sure you want this? My wife deserves vengeance. Do not trust her. She's gonna use you to protect herself. I think someone's been trying to get me to kill the wrong guy. You can question everything. You can never know anything for sure. Teddy, don't believe his lies. You wander around playing detective. Well, maybe you should start investigating yourself. Who did this to you? You did. I want my life back! Why are you asking me? I can't remember what I've done. I have no short-term memory. Since my injury, I can't make new memories. Everything fades. If we talk for too long, I'll forget how we started. The next time I see you, I'm not going to remember this conversation. <laughs> I don't even know if I've met you before. I've told you this before, haven't I? They brought him in to solve an unspeakable crime. Detective Dormer, it's such an honor to meet you. I'm Detective Ellie Burr. Welcome to Night Mute. So incredible to be working with you. The Leland Street murders was my case study at the Academy. Someone out there just beat a 17-year-old girl to death. Your job is to find him. Doesn't say in the report that he clipped her nails. He washed her hair. No mutilation? Not this time. He tortures him, makes him do things, and keeps him there for three days. This guy, he crossed the line, and he didn't even blink. What Detective Dormer doesn't know is that murder is only part of the plan. Dormer here. Killing changes you. It's like awareness. Who am I speaking to? Can't sleep well. He will taunt you. You and I share a secret. We know how easy it is to kill somebody. He will torment you. It can't be easy after three days of no sleep. Are you seeing things yet? And those little tricks of light. He will get inside your head. There's a ferry about five miles north of Night Mute. I'll be on 11 o'clock. I have great respect for your profession. The situation isn't yours to control, Will. 
You try to impress me, Finch. You got the wrong guy. It took you ten minutes to beat Kate Connell to death. There's no evidence that I killed Kate. You only know it because I told you. I, are you doing okay? I mean, you haven't been sleeping much, Detective Dormer. Another night up like this and you're really gonna lose it. Now the game has turned deadlier than he ever imagined. This whole thing you're doing ain't gonna work with me. Hold it! Where is she, Finch? Death was not your fault. My parents deserve justice. I cannot let that pass. If you make yourself more than just a man, then you become something else entirely. Which is a legend, Mr. Wayne. Master Wayne, are you coming back for long, sir? As long as it takes to show the people of Gotham their city doesn't belong to the criminals and the corrupt. Bruce? Rachel? You were gone a long time. I know. Things are worse than ever down here. What chance does Gotham have when the good people do nothing? No makes a libel suit for advanced infantry. Kevlar law utility harness, gas-powered magnetic grapple gun. What's that? On the tumbler? Well, you wouldn't be interested in that. I spent a lot of time being scared for you. I heard you were back. But the man I loved, the man who vanished, never came back. He's here. Who? The Batman. Dresses up like a bat, clearly has issues. Shoot me. Come on. No, I can't do it. <laughs> How'd you like that? Well, how do you do it? I'll perform this feat in a manner never before seen by yourselves or any other audience anywhere in the world. The audience loved it. This trick is top notch. You need to celebrate. <laughs> A real magician tries to invent something new. God. It's something that other magicians will scratch their heads over. I suppose you have such a trick. As you do. It's the one they're gonna remember me for. What happened? It was the greatest magic trick I've ever seen. I need to know how he does it. He has no trick. It's real. Every great magic trick consists of three acts. The first act is called the pledge. The magician shows you something ordinary. But of course, it probably isn't. The second act is called the turn. He's obsessed with discovering your method. The magician makes this ordinary something do something extraordinary. Huh. Now you're looking for the secret, but you won't find it. That's why there's a third act called The Prestige. This is the part with the twists and turns, where lives hang in the balance 
Julie, come on! And you see something shocking you've never seen before. This was built by a man who can actually do what magicians pretend to do. Real magic. I know what you really are. How does he do it? You want the truth. Nothing is impossible. I break it down, bro. No more secrets. Secrets of my life. Uh, cops and lawyers wouldn't dare cross any of you. I mean, what happened? So what are you proposing? It's simple. Kill the Batman. <laughs> Here's my card. Bruce, this is Harvey Dent. Rachel's told me everything about you. I certainly hope not. You once told me that we'd be together. Did you mean it? Bruce, don't make me your only hope for a normal life. You're Alfred, right? That's right, sir. Any psychotic ex-boyfriends I should be aware of? Oh, you have no idea. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> We're tonight's entertainment. Well, hello, beautiful. You look nervous. I've seen now what I have to become to stop men like him. The night is darkest just before the dawn. And I promise you, the dawn is coming. And here we go. Come on. This city deserves a better class of criminal. I'm gonna give it to him. No! <laughs> You'll see. I'll show you. You either die a hero, or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. in the back putter. In the middle of the day, Alfred, not very subtle. The Lamborghini, then. Much more subtle. There's one thing you should know about me. I specialize in a very specific type of security. Subconscious security. You're talking about dreams. Mr. Carl has a job offer he would like to discuss with you. What kind of work placement? Not exactly. We create the world of the dream. We bring the subject into that dream, and they fill it with their secrets. Then you break in and steal it. Well, it's not, strictly speaking, legal. It's called Inception. I'm ready. I think I found a way home. And this last job, that's how I get there. Dreams feel real while we're in them. It's only when we wake up that we realize something is actually strange. This is your responsibility! We are not prepared for this! Dreams 
collapsing. I have it under control. I hate to see you out of control. You mustn't be afraid to dream a little bigger, darling. There's a storm coming. You sound like you're looking forward to it. I'm adaptable. What are you? I'm Gotham's reckoning. Did they kill him? I'm not sure. Huh. Why didn't you just kill me? Your punishment must be more severe. Do you think he's coming back? I don't know. Why would you run, Bane? You should be as afraid of him as I am. I won't bury you. I've buried enough members of the Wayne family. You don't owe these people anymore. You've given them everything. Not everything. Not yet. Warn me about getting into cars with strange men. This isn't a car.